Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today we are going to be going good um going to good old Earth here and we're gonna be having a um Yeah, we're basically about to ruin Earth's day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the moon in. Let's quickly go over here. Then we're gonna add this thing in called Sirius B instead. We're gonna quickly basically replace the moon pretty much. I'm gonna put it like that. Then we're gonna go into this option here. We're gonna hit make pulsar. So basically what I have just done is I've just put a pulsar around Earth. So as you can see, yeah, this is a pretty cool sight, but probably not the best thing. Let's see, let's make it so it um lines up with Earth pretty much like that. So it's pretty much flat. Oh my god. This isn't gonna be a good idea, I know, but I wanted to give it a shot, so yeah, there we go, that looks good. So what if the moon was a pulsar, pretty much? So I basically, pretend I basically just made the moon a lot smaller and a lot more dense and added mass to it. As you can see, this tiny little object is almost the mass of one sun, but it is literally, it has literally got so much mass in it, even though it's smaller than Earth. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow down time, like this, and then we're going to hit play, and we're going to see what happens to our poor old beloved Earth here. So we're going to hit play, now, as you can see, look at this effect. That is just so cool. Oh, we don't want Earth getting pulled in. We want it to orbit the um, pulsar here. So if we have a little look on the north here, if we have a little look here, we can look around. So there's the sun, and look at all of this energy, pretty much, which has been emitted out. Like, that is awesome. Never actually um, seen one of these from a surface view at a close distance like this. So, Earth is all being eliminated, as you just saw there, when its lights went out and it all went to... Um, burnt dark crispy color I guess it went brown so now earth is probably going to heat up due to this pulsar being here so oh it's also being torn apart oh my god so basically if the moon was a pulsar earth would be shredded apart pretty much so yeah sorry but the sun is not going to be the one destroying earth it's going to be this pulsar instead so probably earth here is just being shredded apart as it's increasing in temperature so and this is all happening in seconds as well, like, that's just crazy. This pulsar is just something not to mess with here, so... If we um, speed it up even more, we can see it's making a ring system now, but... Yeah, poor old Earth isn't going to last much longer, it doesn't seem like. It's getting smaller, it's losing mass. We'll have a quick look now. It has less mass than the moon, that's not good, it's only 30% and still decreasing. I think Earth is um, very dead now. Let's increase it up, I don't know. Right, so as we can see, Earth is still getting smaller. It's about 400 in um, radius now, still getting smaller. So that is just crazy. And Earth is pretty much no more. It's now just a very, very small little asteroid, as we can see here. So basically, right, if we, if the Earth was a pulsar, or if the Moon was a pulsar, sorry, Earth wouldn't last. And then also, if we have a look on the rest of the solar system, to so speed this up. This effect would completely just ruin the solar system here. Wow, that is completely messing everything up. <laughs> Damn. So at this point, Earth would probably no longer exist because there's just no way. It would have been completely just shredded apart by all these objects here, so... Well, not objects, it would have just been completely torn apart by this pulsar here. So if we look, you can see the pulsar from quite a distance. Look at that. It may seem a lot smaller, but the massive rays it's shooting up from the north and south are so long, they're just so light or bright, you can pretty much see them from um, this dwarf planet over here. So if we have a look, Wait, where is it? Is that? Yeah, you can see it there, like, oh, wow. Should we see it? I think we can. Wait, um, let's have a little look. Can we see it? We can see a red dot. I don't know what dot that actually is. That's the sun there, so what's this red dot? What's out of it? What is that red thing? Oh, it's all these fragments. That's what it is. Wait, can we quickly delete these? Let's get rid of them. There we go. Select all those bad boys. Let's get rid of them. They're not, they're not needed, so... Let's get rid of them. Then press delete. Okay, that's all of it. So now if we go back to another dwarf planet, so let's just pick this one here. Now if we zoom in, we should be able to see it um, somewhere. So if we look carefully, can we see it? Yeah, you can. Even at, even it's so small, you can just about see it next to the sun there. If you... Look carefully. Yeah, you can just about see it right above my mouse there. Little, little blue dot. A little smaller than the sun, but from a closer point. So if we go to something like one of these nearby planets here, so uh, Mars, 
If we're looking um, from Mars, look how large this thing is. It'd be cool to see one of those in the sky, so... Yeah, pretty cool stuff, so there we are. So, um, now that is that, so let's um, speed this up. Let's have a little look what it does to the solar system before we end this episode off, so... Let's speed this up, and let's see what carnage will unfold. Okay, it doesn't seem like it wants to play. I don't know what's up with that. Is it going to work? Oh, wow, it's spinning so fast, it won't even load. What if we uh, make this a little uh, slower? There we go. It's still doing it, okay. Well, I don't want to be waiting around all day for this to play at five hours a second, so I think that'll do it for this episode, guys. So basically, the conclusion of this is, if the moon was a pulsar, we'd be toast, pretty much. It would fry us and just shred us apart, because... Yeah, these are a force to be reckoned with. They're like number two after black holes is um, pulsars. Pulsars are pretty much second most dangerous after black holes because black holes are the king of the universe pretty much. But pulsars come in a close second, I'd say. So, yeah. Or well, what do you think, guys? Are these better than black holes? Like, your, what, what are your opinions on this? So, yeah, if you guys uh, make sure, um, or if you guys like this video, make sure you um, subscribe for more help us on the journey to 500 because we are rocketing our way there right now pretty much but yeah it's not my or not um so i'm not forcing you it's all your choice but yeah hopefully you can join us that would be awesome but yeah that'll be it for this video so hopefully you guys all have a good day and yeah whatever you do don't make the moon a um, pulsar because bad stuff would happen or don't replace the moon with a pulsar i should say because this isn't the moon it's sirius b remember but yeah that is that so um yeah That'll do it for the video, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.